Trainer's great in the matchup. I didn't realize that that was a, a call to action to play K. Rool, who is, uh, believe it or not, that good in this matchup. Uh, we'll see how things go here. I mean, uh, on the one hand, it's the sort of thing where if Quid. Oh, uh, yeah, he got sticky. Um, is this Quid, like, Johnny? He's like, I didn't lose. I've played K. Rool in Losers Finals. Yeah, you want to join me for this? I need a second human being to bear witness to this nonsense. For a no. Yeah, I think all I right. Now. Hey, shout out to Meryl. A K. Rool, hold up. Yeah, no, uh, I'm glad you are finally here with us among the living. <laughs> where we are watching this Queen low tier. K. Rool. So, by the way, PT, oh, really good God. matchup against Snake. Yeah. Uh, K. Rool versus Snake. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, it's unlosable because look at this. He's about to get clapped on the side. <laughs> oh, what was that down tilt? Oh, this is Eli right now. Okay, you got Eli and Quid and Quid. Okay, he got the crown move now. Okay. Yeah, generally by paper, this matchup is cancer for K. Rool. Yeah, but this, this man Quid trying to end it all with right there. That's all crazy. good off tilt right there from Eli recognizing the big way it's going to catch it easier. But that oh. back here is, oh my god, it's vicious right now. Quid, oh, Quid down a stop, but he's still moving right now. I mean, sure, but like, here's the thing. K. Rool, character that's supposed to have lots of good kill power, right? Ooh, um, oh my god, he tried to be like, cute with the grenade follow He's not even right. being able to do it that easily. <laughs> like, K. Rool has so many moves that kill, but like, how are you hitting the snake to do that? Yeah. Hey, like, the thing with K. Rool in this matchup, like, he really has to, like, <laughs> do that. <laughs> Grab the grenade and yoink it at his face. Oh. But it's just, yeah, K. Rool has to rely on crown follow-ups, throws. The, the burial combo setups, like it's not, but all of those are really hard to get on. Yeah, right I mean, there. I can't tell whether it's so, the sort of thing where, oh, K. Rool is forced to super grabs this matchup, or whether Quinn is just really recognizing that that's what Elia Kim is going for at those higher percentage shielding a lot. Uh, regardless, I mean, this is an even position. I mean, I would actually say Quinn favor both because K. Rool is a heavier weight class. Yeah, just like that. Oh, what a conversion for Quinn. Oh. Recognizing that you can actually follow up with back air a certain percent right there. And Eli was not ready for that type of DI right there. And quit having the slight, a crazy advantage right now with all of this momentum building up. And Eli has doing. to end it right here with this edge guard. And the up tilt, not enough because K was kind of fat right there. Throws him off in the kid of baby time. The guy's like 400 pounds. The guy's oh my god, what a Medicare setup. Medicare doesn't cover his diabetes. <laughs> Get like this man out. Fat. Eli, like, you not going to style on me with this K. Rule. Hold up. Oh, my God. Stomps him real quick. Forcing Eli to approach very high in the ceiling. Ooh. It's stomping the order right now. Good stomp from Eli himself and mashing a bit too much right there. Quid expecting it to happen right there oh, in the back You got to be kidding Quid me. Quid stuffing the hell out of Eli to that blast zone so, right there. So, first of all, yes, he's been air dodging a lot. <laughs> right. We've been seeing that quite a bit. And However, a, and he also ahead. had the directional air dodge. K. Rule's back air. With the sweet spot on it, yeah. not big. He knew not only he was getting air dodge, but the exact angle of yeah. where he was air dodge. It's kind of like a Roy forward tilt thing. Like he cops his arm back really far to the point where well, if you're K rule, it, it goes even crazier. Like in that position, Eli basically had no other position but to force himself to go kind of high in the ceiling. But he was in a panic scenario to the point where it's like if he goes high enough, K rule can, is fast enough to go with an up air follow up. So I want to see what type of game change that Eli is going to attempt to do a small battlefield instead, giving himself a bit less room rather than P2 itself. I, I feel like the platforms are actually helping out immensely, though. Like, in terms of trapping Quid's landing, he has that more little space to find his way back down to the ground. And currently, look at this Quid at 100 plus, and he gets the roll tech. The oh, tech man, lead. this is where it came. Oh, actually, that was actually very intelligent from Quid. A lot of people would think, he just randomly recovered, but he actually turned around with K. Rule and purposely hit the Nikita uh, with the with the propeller hitbox and everything. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a dead body. Yeah, that's a dead body right there. Oh, any he, the whole cast at 160, you're already dead immediately. Yeah. Good, oh, good follow-up from Eli, though. I'm gonna be honest though. If after that kill, you should have taunted. Oh, like, when your opponent is playing K. Rule, you you. you him taunt after killing like that. Oh, oh my god, my, you yeah. gotta taunt right now. Uh, <laughs> never mind. These people are respectful of each other. We all get along. You already got the court. venue popping off a of quid right now. Moving with this K rule. Surprised he ain't using DD like he has been like a month ago and stuff like that. You gotta give it to him. Winning too many encores, he gets bored and was like, nah, let me just let me pick up some heavies real quick. 
even throws it on Eli himself, but is this Edgar going to do it? Wow, critical air dodge from Grid right there. And then Nikita is going to do it yet again. Oh, I thought he was going to set up a down smash right there. But the up tilt is actually going to do it for him instead. Eli finally having a stock lead, but he has to make it count right now instead of letting Quid use in his entire momentum to move around him real quick. There we go. Nice back throw. Oh, nice tech from Quid. Yeah, no. Tech throw in. A very unpopular option, you would think. But right there, no one Try to at least uh, smash him. And Eli not falling for the tricks. Oh, my God. He's going to fall for that trick. <laughs> he said, I ain't down smashing under the plat. I'm a down smash at the corner. How is this an even game? <laughs> like, this game was not even. It wasn't. I freaking swear to God. You know what? Oh, my God. He, that's something I would have did. C4. Ah, Eli a little bit shaky right there. The thing about this matchup with Snake, too, is that he Snake in this matchup can just hold grenade in the middle of the, uh, the stage and hold shield. Because Crown is basically, it, it, it's like, it's not transcended, but it is at the same time. Oh, shout out to Quig giving him that homie stock right there. He just didn't care and just ended up doing Oonga Boonga stuff. I think what happened was maybe after throwing the crown, he was expecting to grab the ledge, but like he was still in the animation for it. Yeah. He thought he was close enough, went for the air dodge up and just... That's the most annoying thing about K. Rule though, is that if you're not utilizing the crown tech, then if you don't cancel it, you, you K. Rule will have the crown grabbing animation. And that has a lot of lag, especially in a scenario like recovering and everything. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, so I understand why he's doing so, this. Uh, Hold on, hold on, the Rob though? I mean, his brother is Chuck. Okay, that, Chuck. You got a point. He probably know a little bit of something with Rob real quick. Thankfully, it ain't town. Oh, oh my know, God. You know what part of this was? Not like this. Probably the thing is, Battlefield, really good stage for uh, Rob. And no way that Lion Kim was going to ban Battlefield. Like, yeah, because this is a very dominant snake stage too. Personally, his best stage. So, the fact, I think Rob does okay. It's not severe like town that... He can just get cheese at the side at 30. Battlefield is going to give Eli a lot more time to recover. Trying to mix it up, but you Ooh. cannot mix around that back air right there. And it extended the hitbox because it which, connected on the side. Which is even more sad, too. Like, the Cypher is supposed to be a homie, but it's, it, Eli is going to get clipped on top 10 anime portrayals right there. But I want to see, actually, now that he's robbed, I want to see how Eli would manage to do this matchup anyway. Because Snake by Paper, by a lot of other Snakes, they say they lose this matchup. And I, I kind of see that why that Snake loses, because Rob, Rob's buttons are really good. Well, not only are Rob's buttons really good, but the, the sort of way that it's been described to me is Rob is a zoner that beats other zoners. Yeah. His tools, like between Gyro, the laser. The, the laser fact that the itself. laser goes across all screen, does like 1%, and is like uncontestable. If you throw out a projectile There's the just time. so many reasons that Rob beats Snake, is that it's all the things that you said, the Gyro itself cop blocks all of Snake's neutral tools, and laser, you, it just goes through. Laser is actually transcendent, so a snake's like shielding with a grenade. It does a lot of shield damage, and Rob can pressure him even more. Even if Eli recovers high, we can just easily hover all the way up there and meet him halfway there. Oh, oh my God! And quit, quit doing an immaculate backer, dodging that grenade explosion. Oh, here we oh, go, up, up throw. throw. No, oh. quit playing with his foot a little bit more. I, I think he knew it wasn't gonna kill. Uh, up throw is strong, but Snake is also heavy beyond Battlefield. All right, 170 uh, for Eli right there. This is right. looking kind of rough. This is not, I mean, Snake has incredible damage output. If he's able to get like one solid combo on Rob, considering that Rob is so big and easy to combo, it could, it wouldn't call it, a, like one solid combo starter could, not necessarily even the game, but definitely give him still a fighting chance. And this is what I mean with the Gyro. That Gyro really oh. cop blocks a lot of Snake's oh. neutral tools. He, uh, not only yeah. that, <laughs> the back end there was, was there was no escape. Yeah. <laughs> there was, Eli really couldn't, he literally could not do anything right I there. I mean, I think he could have gotten hit by the gyro. Not even. Because he, when he went up, he was in the middle, he just started the cypher. There's a certain amount of frames that Snake has to hold the cypher right there. Oh my god, he's going to get cheese on the ceiling? Nah, Eli being, Eli at least saving himself a little longer right there. I mean, maybe, maybe just, just accept it, brother. This, this, this is looking really rough. Oh Eli. my god, no oh chunk from Eli. God. Save me! No. Oh, oh my god! Got the wrong hitbox. Oh my god, That's the down here? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they jab it, they, 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 they try to jab check each other. They're like, like yo, over over you punch again. me, I punch you, you punch me, and I punch you first after that. Oh my god, explosions is coming through. Michael Bay clips. 
Oh! Quit a little shaky right now. Hold up. Ah! No! Yeah, no chance. He had absolutely no chance in that scenario right there. It was it was impossible to get out of that because yep. he wasted all of his jumps and he was turned to the other side of the stage. So even if Quid didn't do side B, he Eli couldn't even sweet spot right there. And Quid could have he could have either did down there or he could have just did side B. It was it looked really rough for that matchup. Like Eli Eli made it work though. Eli was picking up a little bit of some moment uh, of some momentum, right? <laughs> was that that wasn't finals? That was loser semis. This is a semis. Uh, now we're about to. We have a bit of a. Wait a minute, yeah. We are not. We are not in grand finals. It's either, this, it's Quid, either this is yet. a typo or the last set was a typo. I'm confused right finals? now. Is this loser's finals? Did Guy Guy beat uh, Jen? What about those finals? that were not in the know earlier? Guy Guy had to leave because Cody had the emergency. What? Hold up. He he got the upset he, on Quid and then Quid. Yeah, yeah, Gaga beat Quid earlier. And then he left. He had to go. Wait, home. so also Gaga